Yes, I'd just like to say, um, first of all, thank you, Mr. Lenham. I'm Dermot Hayes, our state chemist, for um, coming here today to help with this presentation. The reason these two gentlemen are here is because of the significance of this standard that we achieve. Okay? Um, we, we, we didn't go into this lightly, all right? Um, there's extreme resources, cost, and um, sleepless nights required to get to this standard. Okay? Um, so we looked at our business model. Does it suit our business model? Yes, it did. Um, can we apply the resource and cost to get the standard? What would be the benefits? What would be the returns? And all the boxes we take that we have no choice, but we have to uh, get the standard so that we can go to the market. Our customers were asking for it. The, the bottom line at this point in time was <coughs> that we are now going head to head with multinational companies. We, as a small Irish-owned SME, are competing in a multinational field. And this standard allows us to stand there and say, we can compete with you. We can compete with unlimited resource companies. And we can grow our business model based on a standard that the customers recognize as the highest standard we can take. So based on all that, we have now achieved this. We will now all <coughs> show this business in Ireland that we are a very select group of people with this standard. What the customers would expect is the high level of quality, the high level of competence that is required to maintain this standard. And we will give that. So again, I'd just like to thank Emma Davis, our quality manager, for all our efforts. <coughs> Michael Jordan, our quality consultant, for all his efforts. Michael Anderson for <coughs> Operations and IT for all the changes that were required to bring up our systems and our personnel. And um, again, just thanking everybody for applying your skills to get this company where it is on the road. Okay, so thank you. Thank you. You said just to say it very simply, it's great when you do go through a process like this. Many years ago, before I went into politics, I worked with Dennis O'Brien for 10 years, and we went through what was then, and it seems like a, a, an era ago now, the, the Q mark. You know, he, he decided he was going to put the whole organization through the Q mark, which is a much lesser standard than you've been through, obviously, but it was generally applied throughout the office, and it was quite amusing the way it started and the way it finished. But when it started, everybody thought it was utterly vexatious that this was horrible interference with their natural way of uh, carrying on in the office and that it shouldn't possibly be allowed. And there was a consultant as well, like this gentleman here, who came in and pestered us for, for months and months, you know, <laughs> trying to say, do this and you can't do that and you can't do paper there and you can't, you know, you've got to tidy up the office and make it look tidy and neat and all. And it was really quite funny because there was massive internal resistance by way of grumbling before and during the middle process of it. And then eventually people started to on actually the office is smarter, things are quicker and better done and you know we've got written down our procedures and we've uh, noted what our different functions are and I know that's a different process the PMR to the one you've been through which is about it moving an organisation and, and if you like bringing about a permanent change in the organisation but we have moved to a higher standard in terms of what you produce uh, and what you produce particularly for export which is hugely important because you are uh, a company that has to think like a multinational because that's who you're you're trading and competing against. And there's no point saying, you know, we're small medium sized enterprise should we couldn't possibly we can be lots of small medium sized companies do compete uh, both within Ireland and our indigenous ex indigenous uh, market but also in the export market. So uh, when you when you move to that international level of exporting, you, you really do need to get your standards and your procedures and everything uh, right because at that point you do have an advantage to your small, agile company, owner, owner managed, etc. But it, it, you've got huge inbuilt advantages because, because you've got wonderful informal networks amongst the staff and within the company. But you do have to formalise the, the quality assurance side because at the end of the day, uh, small companies get singled out and get dropped off tender lists and get pushed to one side because, well, actually, they wouldn't have the capability. So you have to kind of you have to punch above your weight, pretend you have enormous resources. In this, the back of the office that the customer never sees, but the, the customer sees what faces them, and that's the product like this that arrives. And they say, well, that's professional, it's to a standard, 
it, it's to a standard that we would expect of a big company. And as you know, it's kind of amusing sometimes when you hear people on the phone from international customers are sort of saying, you know, God, they, they have this imagination or idea that you're some sort of huge company because of the, the, the quality of what you produce. And, and you often end up putting that one only the new with only the new. How <laughs> <laughs> small and tightly <laughs> managed <laughs> this whole operation is, but you know, that's business. And just about putting your best foot forward. And so, congratulations to the staff, particularly. Look at this. This, as I remember going through, even if much less was done with the key mark, was, was really annoying. We thought we, we wanted to stay where we were, but, the, but what happened was there was a lot of cost savings there. Funny enough, because people started thinking about how they produce things as well, which was a very good thing in any office that when you move to our standard you start thinking about well are we doing this the right way and is this the right procedure so you know well done keep improving uh, what you do and produce and uh, keep keep your fun in the organization at the same time so thank you very much thank you yeah.